My name is Derek Oates. Um, the questions are at the bottom so the interviewer doesn't talk. This gives a more personal feel and lets the audience connect uh, with the, those being interviewed. The fade to white transitions uh, that I have used are to show that a different person is about to answer the same three years question. Old. Uh, my, my father brought me from Yorkshire and he went in the army. The fade to black transitions that have also I've been used been are to Yorkshire show that a different question is being answered. In school days, the transitions that I used were to give my documentary a more professional look. Also, they challenged the forms and conventions of a normal documentary because they use more cutaways and longer fade, whereas I have used more short fade transitions. And I am 72 years of age. Throughout my documentary, I used different panning, tilting, and zooming techniques to try and show different angles and give the audience more of a look into the surroundings to help connect the to the interviewee. The location I chose for the interviews were picked as they again help the audience connect with those being interviewed. My documentary is both slow and fast paced. The actual interviews are a bit more slow paced to reflect the lives that the interviewee used to lead. Transitions are faster, reflecting the change in times and how the youth of today lead much more fast paced lives. The five minute section of my documentary have, has been chosen because this is the main focus of my documentary. So it's pretty safe. But uh, that was the original skateboard. We have a modern one today. In my teenage years, there wasn't much to do in a small little fishing village. But we used to go over on the beach a lot and go swimming. And we had bicycles, which we cycled into the city, seven miles away from where I lived. That was all our entertainment. It was very quiet. It's with gay abandon. <laughs> Um, I feel that the youth of today uh, lack respect for for other people, for particularly for their elders, their parents. They um, we were taught respect at school, which and uh, uh, as far as the police were concerned, we did have a lot of respect for the police, which doesn't seem to be. That way today. I don't think the youth of today respect their elders or their parents. They think like that, oh, they can do what they like. What we had to do was our told when we were teenagers and had respect for our parents. Uh, yes, um, uh, the difference between today and when I was young is. Uh, the modern technology today, the, the youth of today have got a lot of uh, activities they can participate in. They do tend to go a little bit over the top with their, in general, with their drinking uh, habits, which uh, it, that was not for the youth of my day. Um, perhaps the older people did in those days, but certainly not to, for the likes of myself, we didn't have television in, 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 our, in my teenage years, we didn't even have television. In the younger days we didn't even have a radio because we didn't, um, um, we had no electricity in the house. But today's uh, teenagers seem to have a lot going for them um, and they, they enjoy themselves probably more than what we did. Yes, I do. I think some of the youth of today are very out of control. But I think most of them is. If you show them respect, they will respect you. Today, the youth have a lot more to entertain themselves with. Whereas when we were young, there wasn't much to do. There was just one bus that took you into the cinema once a week. Whereas the kids have everything today at hand. They go to the cinemas, do go bowling and all this lot, but we didn't have it in Ireland. We were very, very quiet. Today now, they have lots of shops and money, 
pocket money to go shopping. We didn't have pocket money when we were young.